we're doing a tech review. Our first one ever, Apple Vision Pro on my face. Can we use it in real estate effectively? Is it worth the money? Is it worth the time? Is it worth the effort as a realtor and a real estate professional? And by the way, I'm kind of an Apple hater. I hate to tell you, but it's the truth. I did not get this from Apple. They didn't sponsor it. I didn't even pay for it. I'm just borrowing it from a buddy of mine. So, in the app store for this, you can get on, you know, the big real estate uh, tech company that starts with the Z that all of us realtors think is kind of garbage. They like to put out bad stuff. There's a whole video on that, you can watch it. But we're not talking about that, we're talking about there is an app through them. Um, it has 360 floor plans that you can view and it is pretty neat, it looks pretty accurate. Now this is not exactly like walking around the house. You're not walking, I'm not out in a parking lot viewing the space of a house by walking around it. It's just photos and you just move to the next photo. You can choose where you're gonna go. So if we're standing in the foyer and there are multiple options, you choose the option you want by an arrow, looking at it and giving an action and it moves you to that next space. Every single one of these I've ever used, even technology that came out, you know, 10 years ago, we were doing 360 stuff and virtual tours, and you have to either look at the space that you wanna to move to, and it knows it and it moves you there, or you have to make some sort of action and it moves you there, but you just stand in one place and look around, move to the next place, look around, and take the virtual tour in a sort of sedentary fashion, but it definitely is like you're in those rooms. You just don't move between them in real life. Besides being able to look at photos, this thing can do other stuff, right? It has a three-dimensional floor plan. Um, it's kind of like looking down on a dollhouse. You can move it and manipulate it and turn it. It shows the rooms, if the rooms are labeled, the spaces are pretty decent. I have no idea how accurate it actually is because a lot of this stuff is computer generated from 360 photos and or other measurement situations. Like I'm not sure how they create them. I haven't done that research. So no idea as to the accuracy of the floor plan model. Now you can make it bigger, you can make it smaller. Man, pretty cool. We'll have to see where 3D videos lead us. We've been also doing some 3D videos for years. I mean, it's been technology that's been available. You can walk through and follow and pause it and move it and see all the things. They are a little bit grainier than the photos, of course. And there may be a time where it really is like walking through the house. Now, this is so cool. I can see a time where initial showings possibly don't even happen in real life. Right, let's say that our real estate offices just rent out a large open space and we could literally walk through the house. Once the technology develops to that point where it moves with you, which I think is not that far away, then we could actually do an, a tour of a property without going to that property. It's gonna be some serious legwork for the realtor, but it should be great for the clients. And with things like the pandemic, we could avoid a lot of contact altogether. We won't have to go through the house until it's possibly under contract. Of course, we're still gonna go need to see it in real life. We're gonna need to make sure that it doesn't have problems. We're gonna need to do inspections and all the due diligence that comes with real estate, but we may be able to get it under contract without disturbing the family. Which for example, when you've got three kids and two dogs and a cat and a ferret, <coughs> excuse me, and an elderly grandma that lives in the basement, showings are very, very, very difficult. We could literally negate that from our lives until we get under contract and then we disrupt the family. That could be amazing for some of us, amazing. And honestly, change the entire industry. That is possible. Along a similar mindset, but slightly different is, what if you're military and you're stationed in Germany and you can't come back and look at houses? What if you wanna move to uh, Aruba? and you don't have the money to go there to look at houses. You went to decide that you wanna move and now you're gonna move, but you are gonna buy some real estate. I don't even know if you can buy real estate in Aruba. I just made that up, but I'm pretty sure you can. Somebody's buying it. So how's that gonna work? Well, now we can do these tours and it's gonna be pretty stinking close to the real thing. As close as we can get uh, without some sort of neural implant probably. So right now this does have application in real estate for that because it is the closest to being really there that we can currently manufacture. And it's legitimately good enough to make a decision on, in my opinion. So yeah, 
You don't have the money to go to Aruba for your next trip, but you want to get a house? We can make that happen. Woo! So this thing has some really cool apps that you can use, and there's lots of options for, for them, and it has to do with seeing a different reality in your eyes to create possible real reality. For example, kitchen remodels. Uh, you can give it the dimensions and you can be standing in the room and you can move in new cabinets and countertops and make different changes and remodel your kitchen in virtual reality right in front of your eyes and see if you like it and change and shift and figure out the best plan for you. Uh, I'm fairly certain it can do the same with staging. We can do virtual staging now uh, and put it in. And with this, it does seem more real and legit and accurate. I haven't had a chance to see how it looks with staging it versus creating the photos or staging it online or anything like that. That's all new. We haven't had any experience with that, but I'm looking forward to figuring out what that's like. So as of right now, not all realtors have 360 tours, not all platforms can support 360 tours or the virtual um, floor plans, all those types of things. We're not sure what that's gonna look like, but I think moving forward, the more agents that get on board and do 360s and do virtual floor plans and all of that, this is gonna become more important. Now, along with that, would you as a realtor have your clients come to say your office or your home office, whatever, meet with you someplace and go through a bunch of home tours and take a look at them versus have to actually get in the car and drive to those places and interrupt someone's life? Would it be better to see it virtually? And once you decided it's something you like enough to see in real life, go see in real life. I think it could dramatically alter the landscape of real estate. When you add the AI, that's gonna come along with this and how those features are gonna integrate. I think this could absolutely change the way that we sell and show houses and represent our clients and create safety for our pets and our family and you know theft and all of those things. If we're not seeing the house in real life, we're seeing it virtually, it's gonna change dramatically that interaction. I'm kind of excited for that. And what's really important about that is you know, human connection. If I'm doing a virtual tour and you're talking about it, we're gonna have to have it where all three or four or whoever's in it are seeing the same things just like we do in a house. I tell lots of my clients, after I show two, three properties to you and you speak out the things you see, like, dislike, all of that, it really enhances my ability to do, do my job better. When you talk about the things you love, like, dislike, whatever, I'm sitting there listening to you downloading all that data to my brain and then I know which houses I should show you or at least it helps me know because you've already told me all the things that are really cool for you. Um, you would not believe how many times I know what house my client is gonna like way before they do because I'm paying attention to all the things they say. And that's gonna change if we use virtual tours and virtual showings unless I'm there with you seeing what you see and hearing what you say. And I'm a little concerned about how that will make a shift in what we do, but man, it has some cool potential, right? Like the Google lens, if I remember, I think it was called Google lens, which was the glasses that do the Google stuff. When we're integrating something like this, that gives me the data and input like that. Yeah, I think it'll be real then. That's when it's gonna be mainstream because these are light and really comfortable and I could wear these around the house. Not exactly my style of glasses, but if it's integrating my entire life and I'm sending emails and texts and all of that with my head up and not stuck down at the ground, looking down, you know, stuck in my phone, I'm seeing the world around me, interacting with it digitally and interacting with it physically, I'm down for that because that's gonna be pretty cool. So would I buy this from my real estate business? No. Will I someday? Yes, 100%. It's just gonna have to get a little more user-friendly as far as price, like budget-friendly, I guess you should say, and potentially user-friendly as far as size. I do not find it terribly comfortable, but again, it's not mine, I'm borrowing it. If I get the right fit, maybe I would change my mind, but I don't think so. It's pretty heavy, it's a bit cumbersome, I don't love it yet. But you know, model three or four, that could really be something. 
And of course, when we get one that's not Apple and does all the same stuff that this already did years ago from other companies and it's integrated and they're not saying they invented something new, which is all baloney. So yeah, we'll see, I don't know. Not a huge Apple fan, but this is so cool and I'm super glad they're pushing the envelope and my hat's off to them for doing so because this is a ton of work and a ton of, ton of money to create something that's this cool and special and different. And I really can't wait to see where it's headed, but it's probably not for me yet. But crazy as that is, since we got one, uh, access to it, we're gonna make some other videos and show you some of the cool stuff it can do moving forward. And I'm real, real interested in seeing how user-friendly some of that stuff is. It seems legitimately awesome. I'm kind of excited. So with that, what we do is real estate. Call us, text us, email us if you have any sort of real estate needs. If you have friends that have real estate needs, we're here to help. Nothing means more to us than a referral from a friend to a friend, someone we've helped past clients or friends. We work hard to do this job well, to be cutting edge, to be technolog technologically advanced in the real estate market. Like I wanna be the guy you think of when it's real estate, whether it's real estate technology, whether it's neighborhood, food, locations, businesses, restaurants, all those types of things. Like that's what I'm here for. I'm here to help. Help with real estate, but help with life. If you like what you see, subscribe, hit that like, hit that notification, make comments. Tell me what you think. I am very interested to see what you all think. With that, we'll catch you on the next one.